New Year, New You. And to help all of us with that is Alice Inoue, who is a life expert and founder of Happiness You. She joins us now with tips on how to live more inspired in our professional and private lives. Good morning. Happy New Year, Alice. Good morning. Happy New Year. Nice to see yes, you. Yes, you too. Before we get to New Year's resolutions, tell us more about your story and background for people who might not know because you used to be on TV. How did you get to where you are now? Yeah, over 20 years ago, I used to do a lot of television, and one day it all ended, because you know how that goes, sometimes mm -hmm. it can end, and the day that it ended, I had been told literally years ago by an astrologer that in April of the year 2000, my career would end, and when I was down at unemployment filling out the forms, it was then that I realized, like, I want to learn how to help people in life, because it helped me so much to know that there was a bigger picture going on. Mm -hmm. And this is the perfect time when people look at the bigger picture and they create resolutions. What are your some, some tips on doing that? So I think what happens is people will wake up in the new year and say, hey, these are things that I really want. I should exercise more. I should eat healthier. I should, I should, I should. Mm -hmm. But you have to realize when you say you should, it's not something you really want to do, right? Consciously, you want to have these amazing things in your life because you value these things. But then subconsciously, you're finding other things more important. So in other words, if you say, my New Year's resolution is to exercise more. Mm -hmm. Well, subconsciously, you actually love relaxing more. So your subconscious True. will never, never, um, will always win. Your conscious mind won't win. So what I always advise is if you're going to set goals, to set goals really in line with what you truly want, not what you think you should or shouldn't do. That said, if you know that it's important for you to reach a certain goal, then we do need accountability. But remember that if your accountability goes away, so mm -hmm. also does your drive to complete that goal. That's why it's so important to figure out why. Why do you want to be healthier? Is it to be with your grandkids? Is it to live a longer life? We need to know why we want those, not just I should do this because my doctor said so. And these are important to remember because it's all about maintaining and sticking to those resolutions. Yes, and we can maintain and stick to anything that we truly have a desire to do. Like the things that you love doing, you don't wake up in the morning and suppress that, right? You wake up in the morning, you can't wait to do it. So you want to set goals that are in line with what you truly want, not what you think you should do, but what you truly want. Then you'll reach your goals. Is it also about creating goals that are attainable? Because yeah. someone can easily wake up and be like, I want to be a millionaire. You know? Right. And if you want to, you can, no doubt. But mm -hmm. subconsciously, there's other things that are holding you back. Okay. And what about for the entire decade? Because we are starting a new decade. Yeah, it's interesting. When you turn into a new decade, we oftentimes turn into sort of a new mindset, a new energy, a new vibe. And when I look at the cycles and themes that are happening in 2020 and beyond, uh, there is a lot of, as we already see, acceleration, faster paced, more things happening lots and lots of change coming up not just in the world but within ourselves finding mm -hmm. new new things that we want to experience the joy that we are here to experience in life those right. are some of the things i think we'll be looking for but i think do it because you want to not because you feel like you have to do yes. it or everyone else is doing it but because if you want to do it and if you that's don't it. want to do it it's okay that's it we subordinate to other people's desires and what other people think or say we should or shouldn't do. But again, it's all coming back to ourselves and ask yourself what is important to me today with who I am today. A lot of people just say, you know what, my resolution is I just want to be happy. It doesn't have to be anything specific, but I want to be happier. Yes. What is your message? So with that, then you start to take one step towards that. We're not going to just be happy one day, wake mm -hmm. up and just be amazingly happy. You have to look around and say, what is one little thing? And oftentimes it comes from helping someone else, doing something where you can find yourself being a value to others. So one step at a time. That's the only way to reach the goal. And in this day and age, when you look around and so-and-so has this car, so-and-so has this family, it's easy to look at yourself and think, I don't have that. But I think we had talked in the commercial break about thinking and realizing what you do have instead of what you don't have. Yeah, at the end of the day, at the end of the year, at the end of the month, we look back and we remember what we didn't do, what we didn't accomplish, what we didn't achieve. Uh, just like to invite everyone to shift that mindset a bit and, and say, what do you have? What, what 
specifically do you have in your life that you could not live without? Think about it this way. When you wake up in the morning, you don't look in the mirror and say, I love my, my hair, I love my skin. You look and you're like, oh my God, a bag, a wrinkle. We notice what we don't have that we find of value. So really flip that mm -hmm. and look for where there is value in your life. And that's how we start to grow value, when we focus on what is versus what isn't. All right, some great tips. And Alice, if viewers want to learn more, you'll actually be at Dole Cannery coming up January 20th. She'll be speaking, and that starts at 6.30. It'll cost $45 or $40 if you register by January 7th. I could listen to you for another hour. So maybe I'll be there. Thank, Thank you, you so much, Alice. All right, coming up next, Kelly's got your updated forecast.